Praise the Lord. So glad you was able to tune back into a great God. You might want to get a Bible, you know, a pen pad so you can take notes. Um, my special guest is Evangelist Irene Swindell, who was here before. And I'm going to let her introduce herself to you. God bless you. So glad you came. I'm glad you invited me. Yeah, introduce yourself to the audience. They weren't, you know, in case they weren't able to tune in the last time we were together. No. Like Papa Mabel, Evangelist Mill <laughs> said, I'm an evangelist. My name is Irene Swindell. Mm -hmm. uh, ten Kingdom Life Ministries, Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. The pastor is Kevin Austin, Jr. Uh -huh. uh, out in Queens, St. Albans, Queens, mm -hmm. on Linden Boulevard. We uh -huh. are a new church. We are a year old, a little over a year old. Mm -hmm. And already the Lord is blessing to the point we are getting ready to move in our new building. Look at that. And I'm a mother of two. Mm -hmm. My youngest son, Minister Kenneth Swindell, mm -hmm. and Ronnie Swindell, well, both musicians. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I, they've been trained up in the Word of God. All and right. I'm just grateful to God what He has done. Oh, that is a blessing. Two sons that's in the ministry that's playing. Mm -hmm. That's a blessing. Praise God. How do you feel about the church today and why we have so many interpretations of the Word? Oh, Lord, there's so many. Yes, isn't it? I think that a lot of people don't want to follow totally mm -hmm. the Word of God the way He put it. That's true. I believe that. So, you know, the enemy is behind all of this. Mm -hmm. Don't want people to know the whole truth mm -hmm. and nothing but the tr come truth. On. So help us God. Come on, come on, come on now. <laughs> so they rewrite the Bibles, mm -hmm. taking some contents out. Okay making it watered down word. Oh, Lord. So when you water down the word, mm -hmm. you get watered down people. Right. <laughs> because they haven't gotten <laughs> or not getting full instruction of God's word. You sure said something when you say you get watered down word, <laughs> you're going to water down the people. Yes. <laughs> because they're going to use that interpretation yes. to fit their living arrangements. And you're exactly. right about that. But, it, you know, God looks at that now. Yes, he does. He looks at it. He, he speaks about taking uh, words out of the Bible to mm -hmm. fit your situation. Yes. But what does the word holiness mean to you? And what do you feel being saved means? Holiness means that we live a sin-free life. Mm -hmm. Life. That we have been separated. That's right. I from the world. Yes, yes. Totally. Mm -hmm. To live a holy life mm -hmm. for God. Clean life, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Holy and clean life, and, and, and that <laughs> means a lot. Yeah. Because um, people, I, I hear some people say, I can't live this life, you know. Uh, what am I being saved from? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? And then you go to explain it to them, and they tell you, I heard one guy say, well, this is hell, but the Bible don't say that. This is a form of hell. There you go. Well, what we're going through now, mm -hmm. don't compete. Compare. I know you're right. With, with the real hell. The real hell. That's so there is no, no quenching of the fire there. There you go. There's no toning down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't, there is no button that you, or, or <laughs> a screw something that you can turn and let the fire down. Mm -hmm. It remains the same throughout eternity. You That's why it's hell. Eternity, Lord. And you're going through hell all, mm -hmm. all your existence. Yeah. There. Yeah. And that's a spiritual existence. Yeah. You know, because once man dies, that spirit lives on. And the Lord showed me, even with that, when the baby come into the world, that spirit was waiting for that baby mm -hmm. to bring that body alive. Yeah. When, uh, 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 so that the spirit was alive then. Mm -hmm. Now, when a man dies, he cannot be pronounced dead until he exhales. Oh. So that spirit is going to be alive when he leaves. That's so right. So only one going to put it somewhere is God. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what we mean by you know, living a saved life yes. so that we won't experience what the word says is going to yes, happen yes. after we pass. I mean, we have been saved from, from hell. Mm -hmm. God has come into our life. Mm -hmm. We're in a position mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. where we can go back with Jesus mm -hmm. and not go down there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And everlasting punishment. Right, right. Uh, no, but I mean, you suffer so much here today, uh, uh, just in life, mm -hmm. you know, living a saved life give us many benefits. 
Yes, it does. You know, it gives us protection as we go to and from. Mm -hmm. it, it gives us a, 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 a supply of our needs being met. Oh, yes. We have many benefits mm -hmm. being saved. If mm -hmm. we have a true, sincere hunger for the Lord, we find that being saved, you know, not just prevents us from going to hell, but we have a Savior that walks with us every day. Every day. That is so true. That is so true. That Savior walks with us and speaks in our hearts. Because God talks to us in many ways, don't he? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. He speaks to us in our dreams. He speaks to us in our, you know, audibly. He speaks mm -hmm. to us in our mind, mm -hmm. our hearts. Mm -hmm. For the heart of God yes. is our mind. Oh, yes, he does. Mm -hmm. That is like, uh, the key to mm -hmm. The key to God. Come on. Is our mind. Is our mind. And that's why the enemy wants to sift us. Like we. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Take our mind. Right. Water down the word and take out mm -hmm. important contents. Right. From right. the word. That will miss the mark. Mm -hmm. But thank God he teaches us. The Holy Ghost teaches us. That's why he say rightly divide that word. Yes. You know, because so many people have put so much stuff in there. And then some guy told me, um, well, uh, you know, um, some of that word ain't right. I said, are you telling me that, well, you know, it was written by some men. Uh, I said, but are you telling me that the word is not right? Um, no, I'm not saying that. Now, now he backtracking. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying that. I said, but you just told me that uh, they wrote, the men wrote the word and it wasn't God. And then these were holy men that was had under the unction of the Holy Ghost wrote that word. Yeah. So either you believe the word or you don't. No, yeah. no, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't argue the word. <laughs> that's what you believe? You mm -hmm. believe on, brother, because I'm trying to make heaven my home. So, mm -hmm. you know, salvation is free. Mm -hmm. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to do what other people are doing to get it. Mm -hmm. or what, Tell the congregation what you have to do to uh, achieve salvation in our lives. We have to first be sanctified. We have to get rid of all sin in our life. We have to stop doing things mm -hmm. that we know, that right. we know mm -hmm. is not right and not pleasing in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. We have to set our affection, mm -hmm. our mind and affection on things above, above. Right. not on the things of this life. Mm -hmm. When we set our affection on things of this life, mm -hmm. you know, we can't, we can't please God. No. No. We can't. See, it's a God and it's God, it's a God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like, like the man said, a God didn't write the Bible. Man wrote. Who is going to write it if, if men didn't write it? <laughs> God, God is not, God is not a person. He's a spirit, spirit. person. Uh -huh. And he inspires. He inspires us to do it. How are we to know from that time, from the beginning of the world mm -hmm. to this time, mm -hmm. what God is saying? That's right. That's how we hear him through his word. Through his word. That's right. In actuality, God really wrote that Bible. Mm -hmm. Even with the Ten Commandments with Moses, mm -hmm. what did God do? He made those tablets. Mm -hmm. All that was put down on um, scribes yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, he did that by his power. By his power. But and from then on, mm -hmm. men wrote. He inspired men to write. God can do anything but anything. 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 And salvation is based on Jesus' teaching. Mm -hmm. What did Jesus actually teach? I mean, I know, but my congregation should know what was his teaching. His teaching was love. What else do you feel? Righteousness, holiness. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that four-letter word, love, which we spoke about the last time we were together, is just a tremendous word. Yeah, I mean, you you can add to it by saying true love. Mm -hmm. Now, what is true love? Godly love. Godly love. <laughs> you can't put it no other way when it's true love. Mm -hmm. It's godly love. The God is love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other love? Mm -hmm. Just like a sinking sand. <laughs> Come on now. You're right about that. When man love in a human way, mm -hmm. They can stop loving you anytime. Next day. <laughs> Next okay. hour. But with God, no matter what we do, mm -hmm. not that he accepts all the wrong that we do, but mm -hmm. he still loves us. Right. 
It was, I, I have loved you with an everlasting, everlasting love. Everlasting love. And I will be with you always. I'll never leave you nor mm -hmm. forsake you. Mm -hmm. But people will. People will. That's right. That's right. They will leave you. Mm -hmm. And they won't love you like God mm -hmm. will love you. Yeah. You know, they'll get quickly get tired of you. Yes, right. They'll say, I'm here for you, mm -hmm. but they'll be there for a little while, mm -hmm. but after a while, they'll get tired. Really get but tired. But God doesn't. Mm-mm. God don't. He doesn't get tired. Now, that's love. Mm -hmm. And he forgives you over and oh, over, over and over. and over. And over. Like, that means you can constantly sin, but after a while, mm -hmm. he'll put you into a reprobation. Mm -hmm. And as a mind to do things that are wrong, right. Mm -hmm. You know, and... and, and um, right in your mind and mm -hmm. that's not a good state to be in yeah. because then you know you lost out the god of a second chance come on now lord third I love chance fourth yeah. chance fifth chance yeah but we keep on you no know, he not think he, after a while mm -hmm. he'll stop giving us chances mm -hmm. you know see, I, I give you up mm -hmm. so i right, come on now you right. i give you up to a reprobate mind uh -huh. you want to do you want to do what you want to do that's right you refuse totally to adhere to my instruction mm -hmm. and rule Go ahead and do. Go and do what you're going to do. Go ahead and do what you're going to mm -hmm. do. You do what you feel like you're big enough to do without, mm -hmm. without it. And you're going to hit a brick wall every time. There's some people feel that God would, should love them no matter what. Yeah. But God get tired. Yeah. And would, some people feel, why did God allow Sandy to destroy all these? Why did God allow? God allowed it because you don't listen. He is our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Father's discipline mm -hmm. for children. Mm -hmm. Father got to know, let them know mm -hmm. that what Father says stands. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do whatever you want to do and, and disregard me. Right. I got to show you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you that I'm God. And that's why God allowed it. I'm more than love. Mm -hmm. I, the Bible said God can be terrible. Whoop. He's terrible. Don't he say it? Say he angers too. Yeah. The Bible let us know that God get angry. It's a bad thing to fall into the hands of an angry of a, God. Angry God. I know that's right. God knows I don't want him to get angry with me. <laughs> I mean, he's a child. The consequences. Oh, my God. Not what you think about the consequences uh -huh. of God's wrath. Uh -huh. And then on top of that, what Eli told his sons, he said, a man can go against another man, and the judge will entreat for him. Mm -hmm. But if a man go against God, who can, who can entreat for him? Nobody. <laughs> You Ain't nobody not we just messed up if we go against God. So there are those in the, in the Bible who were bent on having their way. Mm -hmm. God said, don't even pray for them because they're not going to help. Didn't he? He told Samuel to stop praying for Saul, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He told him to stop praying for us. That's sad when, when, when God tells somebody to stop praying for you. Well, how has this great gospel impacted your life? How has it? I mean, what has it done to improve and impact your life? Well, the gospel today is, is, is the source of my life. Mm -hmm. It's the source of my well-being. Mm -hmm. It's while I'm sitting before you today, mm -hmm. how the word has impacted mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. How God has shown me mm -hmm. and let me see. Yeah. If I don't live right, mm -hmm. I'm going to hell. There you go. So it impacted me to that much that I got to live right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to live right. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I want to see him. Right. I want to go back with him when he comes. Mm -hmm. So the word has been the most impact mm -hmm. thing in my life. Amen. If it wasn't for Jesus, where would I be? Right. And like it also, I mean, it impacts, impacts your life because it provides. My I mean, everything has been my everything. My clothing, he provides. Mm -hmm. My food that I eat, he provides. Yes. When people are crying because of certain things, I don't take it the same way they take it. Mm -hmm. I don't have to cry because I know God is in charge. Mm -hmm. And I know all things are working together. Together Come on. Good. <laughs> for the good. Because I love him. Yes. So, yeah, the word has impacted. Mm -hmm. Just as, and, and, and we can see it every day, how the word impacts your life. Your, cute, your children love you. Mm -hmm. Your children put up, take time for you. Yes. Your children show you that they, they really care and want the best interest. You know how many mothers want that? Mm. 
and their kids are throwing them in nursing homes? Oh, you know it. And not even going to see them? I know about that. So the gospel has really impacted you. I see a great thing mm -hmm. that the Lord has done for you. Well, my theme today is Psalm 35 and 9. And my theme is salvation is free. Mm -hmm. 35 and 9 says, And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. And <laughs> I just love that scripture because I, I'm a joyful person. Yes, you are. And I, <laughs> and I just love when the Lord does things. And I, I'm able to comprehend it. I'm able to see it where other people can't see it. Mm -hmm. That makes me feel, oh, he's really uh, like Abraham. I'm walking with him. And I'm happy about that. And then the scriptures say the joy of the Lord is our strength. What do you feel about that scripture? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My soul is joyful mm -hmm. in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank God for joy. Mm. Oh my God, <laughs> the yes. The joy of the Lord is, a, come on. is my strength. Mm -hmm. Your strength. Mm -hmm. Everybody's strength who trusts in Him. There you go. Hallelujah, God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's a good, good thing to be able to rejoice in the one that has set me free, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who has provided a way yes. for me. Mm -hmm. Now, I could be like a lot of other people out in the world doing everything that I, I'm big enough to do. But because of the joy of God, I love mm -hmm. the joy of God that, that, that keeps me going, keep me right. flowing. Right. Hallelujah. Keep me uplifted. Right. When you got, when you got joy, you were uplifted. So I just thank God sure. for it. And then on top of that, the Bible says laughter is medicine. Laughter is medicine. You can feel just as bad, but then something <laughs> make you tickle, and you just begin to feel much different. Because I'm not a, such a laughable person, but mm -hmm. when I laugh, it's an outlet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a lot, and I feel so good just to be able to <laughs> laugh sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's an awesome good. thing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why um, Psalms, what is it, uh, Isaiah 12 and 3, will come up and say, therefore with, the, with joy, Shall ye draw waters out of the wells of salvation? Mm -hmm. You're pulling from that salvation. Mm -hmm. Pulling that water up. Mm -hmm. Holy, like Jesus walked on the water. Mm -hmm. We're pulling up joy. I'm thinking about sal the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the well of salvation. Mm -hmm. And I began to see Jesus mm -hmm. as that well. Come on now. So what we need, we draw from him. We draw from him. You know, the joy we need, we draw from him. Mm -hmm. If it's peace we need, we draw. Whatever we need, we draw from mm -hmm. the well of our salvation, who is Jesus Christ. Right, right. And that is what it takes. We have to yes. draw from his word. Mm -hmm. And we have to let that word, as you see, impact yes. our living, impact our minds. Oh, yes. And then lamination, lamentations. 3 and 26 said, it is good that a man should boast, hope, and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. So I see people, I mean, you're going to have joy within this, mm -hmm. you know, because you're pulling from the well of salvation. But he's saying, uh, just wait on my comforter. Like I told the disciples, he says, go in that room, just wait. Mm -hmm. And you see people now, they're telling you, Carry, 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 take you spitting and crying and spitting and crying, spitting and crying. I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I love what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. He says, it is good that a man should both hope, mm -hmm. quietly wait mm -hmm. for the salvation of the Lord. Now, while you quietly waiting, that's not saying you can't pray. Right. That's not saying you can't fast. Because mm -hmm. these things come now, not but by fasting and, and praying. praying. Mm -hmm. So when we wait on the Lord and, 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 and hope. What do you feel about hoping? Oh, we, we're having something to look forward to. Yeah. We have, um, hope is like, like faith. Right. You know, hope. It is. It, work, it coincides with faith. With faith. You know, if we don't have faith, we don't have hope. Right. Help is what we look, hope is what we are looking, mm -hmm. looking to looking get. Looking to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Feeling that Our hope is in God, so right. It's <laughs> so a feeling that what we 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 see that we can have mm -hmm. what we want, we can have it. Yes. So you know, 
but it is by the grace of God that we get it mm -hmm. or that an event will turn out to our liking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hope is something that we all should have. When a man become hopeless, he thinks about suicide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he don't see nothing, no mm -hmm. way of getting mm -hmm. out of what he's in. Mm -hmm. But there's always a way. That's the way. Yeah. Come on, no temptation. Mm -hmm. No temptation. Uh -huh. He made a way of escape. You. Come on, he made a way of escape. <laughs> yes, thank God. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, but we got to learn to be quiet mm -hmm. and, and, and just hope mm -hmm. and pray mm -hmm. and fast and, listen and believe, for right? Mm -hmm. While we're being quiet, we got to listen. Yeah. We can listen for, yeah. for his voice. Yeah. Yeah, because he's going to speak to us. Mm -hmm. You know, if we got that line from here to heaven, mm -hmm. he's going to speak oh, to yes. us. And he's going to tell us which way to go, yes. what to do. And, you know, sometimes you can have a problem, and you see no way out that problem. And if you be still, like he told Moses at the Red Sea, mm -hmm. be still. Be still and know that, that I am God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you praise the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And next thing you know, you don't know where that problem went. Because mm -hmm. it just blew over you. Mm -hmm. What a God we serve. Oh, what a God we serve. Mm -hmm. Mighty God. And we have to know who, our, who holds our tomorrow, who holds our today, oh, who yes. holds our, 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 our present you know, situation. Mm -hmm. And we know that Psalms 118, 14, it lets us know that the Lord is my strength and song. Mm -hmm. and is become my salvation. Mm -hmm. So the word just pointed us back to who? God, through Jesus of Nazareth, mm -hmm. which was his son. Yes, I was salvation. Mm -hmm. So yes. we, we're happy for salvation today because not everybody's going to have it. That's right. Yeah, and, and the Bible tells us not everybody's going to accept it. Mm -hmm. But we still are to go out. And we still are to minister, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who have you ministered to lately that you feel that the Lord has put a blessing there on? Mm. I have two aunts down south. Mm -hmm. um, this particular aunt, she's really laid back, mm -hmm. you know. And I, we call and I talk to her and, I, and she tells me how much I have encouraged her. Oh, look at God. You know, she don't get visitors. You know, the people are so divided down there. Even those in the church that really? divide. You know, everybody to their own little place. everywhere, huh? So I tell you, put, I say, Aunt Daisy, put, the, put, the, put your tapes on. Okay, okay. And said, you can have church in the house all by yourself. Yeah, hey, I know that's right. So one time I called her, she said, Reen. <laughs> they called me Reen. She said, Reen. I did what you said. Uh, you know, I put my tape on. I just have church in here. I don't be lonely <laughs> like that anymore. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Because yes. I remember my mom, when she was very sick, you know, just because she passed, she would just bring me the iPod, mm -hmm. bring me the music, bring me the gospel. Mm -hmm. And I would have it playing over and over and over for her mm -hmm. and over and over. And it's just like when most people would fall apart, mm -hmm. she raised up. All right. People went to Praise pray God. for her, and she prayed for them. Yes, so <laughs> it's just God leaves us a way mm -hmm. to help build us up. Mm -hmm. And it, the, like 118 says, the Lord is our strength. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. And this is what we need today. We need strength to stand. Because mm -hmm. the trials of life hit us so hard. We just don't know which way to turn. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel that way? Yeah, sometimes the cares of life tends to weaken some people down, mm -hmm. you know, to the point they don't know what to do, Yeah, don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. They just don't know. Mm -hmm. And so they, they lose hope. Right. They don't see no way of getting out of the situation that they're in. Mm -hmm. But like we said before, God has a way, made a way. Mm -hmm. If you sit down and think, mm -hmm. Think on you, the things that you have, some of the things that you have been taught that may not be saved anything, but I'm sure you've heard about mm -hmm. Jesus. There you go. You heard about Jesus. Yeah. Who hasn't? You know? So oh. our, our hope in God is, mm -hmm. and you know, it's something to think about. We have somebody to look, look to, mm -hmm. somebody to lean on, mm -hmm. to trust in our bad times and situations. Mm -hmm. That won't turn his back on won't us. Won't turn our back on. And where we can't see our way, He'll make a way out in the mm -hmm. desert. Make a way. 
He'll make a way in the desert. We just have to show him that we have a mm -hmm. sincere and pure heart. Mm -hmm. You know, people are looking for love today, and mm -hmm. you're not going to find mm -hmm. it in the street. So we can sit here and talk about it today mm -hmm. because we traveled the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had the experience. That's so. right. And that's why we can talk about it today. And you're right. Mm. You're right. And we know mm -hmm. the comforter. Mm -hmm. We know who the hope is. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and we, we didn't just, we weren't born yesterday. No. Uh-uh. No. And, and a lot of things that people are struggling through, we've been there, done that. Yes. And we have to show what got us through it. Mm -hmm. And it, who could it have been but the Word of but, God? But the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Our hope. Mm -hmm. Our hope. Our source. Come on now. No time. <laughs> if you know who your source is, yeah, yeah. you know where your help comes Come from. Come on now. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just like plugging that, that electricity in there, that socket in there. Yes. You know, it, that's the source. Mm -hmm. The source can light up everything. Yes. Yes. And we thank God for that. We thank God that he's going to do great things. And to you. I just thank God for salvation. Yes. Reach out. Seek God like never before because yes. he's the only one that can do anything yes. but fail. He's the only one that came to give you life Amen. and that more abundantly. Amen. God sent his son <coughs> just to do just that. And if you hold on and walk in the word, the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Oh, yes, it will. He will be your strength in time of trouble. He'll be your strength. When you're just sitting around, don't feel like nothing is happening for you. But God came, sent his son, just for people like you and I. Mm -hmm. The joy of the Lord is your strength. But learn how to wait and hope patiently. Because patience is a virtue. And we have to condition our body to stand fast in hope and patience. And I believe that what God has intended for you will come to pass. Amen. And it'll be a benefit to your life, Amen. to your living, knowing that even before you leave this world, you have salvation. Knowing that you had a, someone who was a ransom for your sin. He paid it all at the cross for you that you might live here on earth and live to live again. I really thank you for coming today. And may heaven smile upon you. Thank you. It's been a blessing. Oh, yes, it's been it a blessing has. Like to sit here with really you has. and expound on the word of God. Yes, yes. I look forward to coming again. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get you back again. Because, <laughs> you know, the experiences you and I have had.